this is a reminder to look in the mirror and know that you are that bitch. You are the catch. So toast up to you. She a bad thing, no makeup. Even though I know she gon' still be the face Told her she my lucky number seven, and we run forever, stay the cake up. I know these nigga ain't hey, but baby, they ain't finna play us. If they always tell them pay up, post up, never lay up. And I'm only pop Hello. So for those who don't know, my name is Brianna Monet and welcome to my channel. So this is just a motivational video to let you know that you are worth, that you are the catch. We are quarantining, so what are y'all doing? Y'all screwing? No, on a serious note, um, so the other day I have posted on my Facebook, let me find it. I posted on my Facebook, ladies, you are the catch. Don't lower your standards to satisfy a man or a woman. You make the rules. It's your world. They're just living in it. Thanks for coming to my TED's talk. So for those who don't know, I'm very transparent. If you don't know, I'm very transparent. And so the other day, I was in my feelings. I was like really deep in my feelings. Somebody tried to tell me about myself. And you know, the next day I woke up and I was like, no, you a baddie. You are worthy. And you're not lowering your standards for anybody. You are humble, but you will not change yourself. So I tried to turn something negative into something positive. So I was venting to my best friend today and she was speaking some volume into me. I was feeling a little sad. I did my affirmations, cool. But I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's build this confidence up. Let's turn on this camera and really show the ladies how to be the catch. Meaning as, if somebody is making you feel like shit, basically, they making you feel like you are the problem, that everything that you doing is wrong, that you don't feel worthy enough, that you don't feel beautiful enough, that you don't feel confident enough, whatever the case may be, if they start making you question yourself, you need to not only look at the good things from it, because you try to find all positive things in negative situations, but cut the ass off. Because we are worthy, and we will not surround ourselves around people who make us feel less than. We have to remember who we are. We have to have that confidence. We have to tell ourselves that we are beautiful and that we are worthy. We are accountable for our happiness and our peace. And if that person doesn't bring peace to our surroundings and our energy, period and that's with anything whether that's job whether that's friendship whether that's relationships whether that's family in 2020 i am working on consistency and energy meaning that i don't care who you are if you do not bring peace in my life you gotta go period the moment where you start making me question myself like dang is you is you really tripping like okay was you really overacting was you really doing the most? No, you wasn't. That person is making you feel like you're crazy. But then at the end, you find out that you may have been a little crazy, but at least you was right. So, meaning that a lot of people like to play victim or a lot of people don't take accountability for their actions and try to blame you for them. We have to look in the mirror and know that I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am fun, I am energetic, I am love, I am peace. Whatever you want to be, you look in the mirror and you tell yourself that is who I am. I am such and such. And you have to believe in that. You have to look yourself in your eyes and tell yourself that. It's nobody else's responsibility around you but yours. And once you learn how to walk away from situations that bother your energy and your mood, you will be on top. I promise you. Use this time to write down all the things that you love about yourself and all the things that you want to work on. Use this time to meditate. Use this time to accomplish your goals. Use this time to read a book. But do not stay in a situation where that person makes you feel less than. You are the catch. Period. Don't forget that. And so, um, I know like for me personally, 
I know that some people think that I'm a female dog. I know that some people think that I'm evil. I know some people talk down on my name. That's cool and all. I'm not gonna act like I'm not perfect. But what I am going to do is try to be a better person than I was yesterday and work on the things that I need to work on, not for validation from other people, but validation for me. And also know that you are not that person. You don't have to believe everything that people say because a lot of times it's not what you are doing, but it may be what they are going to do or what they're doing or what they're dealing with. And so a lot of times people like to project their own problems on you. It is not your fault. You are worthy. You are the king. So drink you some wine. Turn on your favorite music. Put on a cute little outfit. Get cute. Make yourself feel beautiful however which way you feel beautiful please your own self but 2020 we are focusing on us consistency and energy you have to remember you are the best not them it's your world and they are living in it you make the rules you set the standards and you let them know the requirement it is in order to be in your presence if they cannot follow those requirements So, again, I am Brianna Renee. Follow me and subscribe to me. And I just want to add this in there. You got to show a motherfucker how to treat you. So, hello. So, you know, we're quarantined. Mm -mm. I posted on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, I ain't even gonna flex to you. Y'all know I'm very transparent. And for those who don't know, I'm very transparent. Is that a mosquito? Get, get out. Get out. Get. Where it go? Die, die, die. Okay. So you need to dislocate yourself from them and be like mm -mm, I don't like that I don't like okay my um my, my thing oh yep my thing about to fall down hold on